Now let's work some problems. So the first problem is to develop X bar chart and R chart. So here we have data of contents of a 6 ounce bottle of aftershave. So we have sample 1 and there are 6 bottles and the content of those 6 bottles are given here and this is sample 2 sample 3 and sample 4 taken in succession. So we have the sum for each of those samples. So X bar then is 35.7 over 6 is 5.95 36.36 over 6 is 6.06 and then 35.76 over 6 is 5.96 then 36.18 divided by 6 is 6.03 now this x double bar then is you add all of these up 5.95 plus 6.06 plus 5.96 plus 6.03 and then there are four of these so divide by four and that gives us 6.0 now range so you look at the largest value so this is largest minus smallest. So that is R. So the largest value here is 6. Smallest value is 5.9. So 0.1. Next one, 6.3 minus 6 is 0.3 then 6.06 .06 minus 5.9 is 0.16 and 6.1 minus 5.96 is 0.14 and you average these and you get 0.175 now sample size okay. now this is one thing that students must be very careful about. You need to distinguish between number of samples and sample size. So sample size is how many observations are collected from each sample. In other words, to find X bar value, what do you divide it by, divide the sum by? So which is 6. So sample size is 6. Now if you go to sample, um, with this sample size, Let's go to the table 6.1. This is in page 241. Okay, so for 6.483 is the value of A. Then for 6, D sub 4 is 2.004 and d sub 3 is 0. Now the formula for the export chart is so the formula let me write formula is x double bar plus or minus a sub 2 times r bar. So A sub 2 times R bar is 0.483 times R bar is 0.175 that is 0.0845. Then the lower control limit for X bar is X double bar minus 0.0845 which is 
5.9155. The upper limit is 6 plus 0 0.845, 0 0.0845, so that will be 6 point. Eight four five. Now the R chart lower limit is D sub three times R bar, which is zero times R bar is point one seven five, so that is zero, and then D sub four times R bar, which is two point oh oh four times 0.175 will give you 0.3507. So, these are the limits. Now, let us uh, plot these points here. First is export chart. Okay, Let us do export chart. The midpoint, the target value is 6. Then the lower control limit is 5.9155. So that is approximately about here. And the upper control limit is 6. 0845, which is about there. So this is x double bar 6.0. This is lower control limit of x bar equal to 5.9155. So that's that. Okay. Then this is the upper control limit of x bar equal to five point uh, six point oh eight four five. So now we need to plot the individual x bars. So from here, the first one is five point nine five. So five point nine five is about there. It's going to be slightly approximate since we're doing this by hand. The next one is 6.06. .06. So 6.06. .06. So this is sample 1. Sample 2 is 6.06. And then 5.96 for sample 3. So 5.96, okay, and then 6.03 for sample 4. So 6.03 would be about that. So now you connect the points. Okay. Now all the points are within the control limits, so we can say X bar chart is in control. We usually you will have like 20 or 25 samples, but we want to keep the amount of computations uh, reasonable, so we have only four samples. So X bar chart is in control. Now let's draw the R chart. Again, R bar is 0.175. So 0.175 is about there. And then the lower control limit is 0. And the upper control limit is 0.35. So about there. So 
so this is r bar and upper control limit of R is 0.3507 lower control limit for R 0 okay. so now we plot the R values the first one is 0.1 so samples first one the second one is point three it's about there point one six is the next one and the third the the fourth one is point one four so that will be about there. So connect. So again, all points are within the control limits. So you can say our chart is in control. 